Hello everyone, I'm the Coral Gamer, and welcome Man, to... Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1, Part... Who knows? I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Why is there an alarm if we unlocked it? Logic. <laughs> she has a screwdriver in her. What the hell? Man, that alarm is really loud. Oh, great. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the no, way to my the truck. Axe. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Okay. Stay away from the windows. Okay. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. We are gonna make it, people. Oh uh, uh, yeah, we're I fine. should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Yeah. Shit. Oh great. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Can you look for something to stick in between the handcuffs? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Uh, time. did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. A window with the screw. Go. Uh, what? Oh, my God. <sighs> I found something. Oh, um, okay. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Is it gonna be Doug or Carly? Alright guys, we gotta think this through. Doug or Carly? Carly, she's a good shot, but she knows my uh, past and stuff, so I'm gonna go for Doug. Sorry. Good Doug is smart. Doug is smart, okay? Carly was a good shot, but she knew my. Oh, that's a screwdriver woman. Looks like she was about to pass out. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. Help me. Alright, Kenny. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Thank you. Kenny is bay. Close it. Right. Jeez, that was intense. Holy crap. Oh yeah, this is the motel.
God, the woman is there. What is this? Oh yeah, the picture? Yeah. Jesus. Alright. Hey, Doug. Hey, Glenn. I mean, Glenn, sorry. Oh, I think I need to go. Wait, why? To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. <gasps> Sounds like. Oh, so that's how Glenn happened. gets to Atlanta in the comic book. A few Oops. days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. No, so yeah, wait. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys are <laughs> What? Mm. Bye. Oh, Glow is so cool. Crap. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, yeah. we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. <laughs> but after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Oh, thanks, thanks Kenny. Kenny. You got it. Kenny's the best, dude. You gotta love Ken Ken. Oh, hey, Doug. <laughs> this is going to be awkward. How you doing, Doug? See, look, he's fixing a laptop, you know. Is he mad at me? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. No. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survival thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. She liked you, too. Thanks. Oh, I guess that even makes it anyway, worse. Oh, no, I guess not. Damn. Wait, Lee? <laughs> what is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. Yeah, no. so did she. I guess that makes sense. But she looked like but she needed help, too. it wasn't a choice too. like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. <sighs> Dog, don't be like that. Don't make me go back and say, <laughs> just kidding. Hey, Clementine. <sighs> that bitch, I, I forgot about him punching me. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to call me for a minute? <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry. I... I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. You do. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. 
Fuck you. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine. Talk. What do you want? You like my daughter? No. Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. What? And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Boy? <gasps> he's calling me boy? Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's Dude, he's got racist. to say. Racist. I know who you he's are. He's calling me boy. If and you guys I don't, don't understand, that's what like what the uh, slave owners, plantation owners would that call girl slaves you've got back with in the you? day. You Back in the day. Ass. I want to kill him. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Bitch. Your papa, papa is racist. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I know. <laughs> I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Mm. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. The military. We got beds, uh -huh. we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Light, yeah, you know. You're right. It's not like that you draws know, zombies. I think it's going to be okay. Clementine. To <laughs> uh, be continued. Oh. Oh. Well, next time in the next episode. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Thanks. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's Ooh. beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Bandits? Ooh. Well, who's that guy? There's too many of them! Who, who is he? You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever you thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. Oh, yeah. What's happening? Who are you? No more, please. No more. We please. just saw like five people who we don't know. Please, please. Oh my god. That was, um. Really just wow. Lied to Herschel. Fifty-four percent we were honest. Who would you save Duck or Sean? <laughs> oh, okay. You and fifty-four percent defended Kenny. Gave Irene the gun, yep. Man, Duck and Carly is really just balanced. Wow. Okay. Well, my opinion about episode one. Great.